It's called being human. It's not about knowing the person. The person is a human. Okay. It's not it's not no. you're, you're, not dating, you're not dating a god or a goddess. Okay, guys. So it's all about opinions here. So that's his opinion. That's her opinion. His opinion. Well, but my opinion is correct. Uh-uh. <laughs> I don't want this. Your opinion is... is I want is, is that, Your opinion is your opinion. You see? Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel, Everything Belby. This is Belby's Shop Talks, The Love Edition. And I have a really special guest, and it's all about love. And so if you want to know more, don't go away. Stay tuned. <laughs> Today on everything Belvis edition, it's about love. I mean, can we have this world without love? Hey, lovely people, I'm Nase Junior, and uh, we are here to share opinions on love. Okay, so Rolling, so talking about relationships and love, it's all about love. Yeah. And you know we have different kinds of love. Please, can you mention one kind of love? I mean, <laughs> this parental love. Uh huh. Oh, that's one. You, Mary. Um, what do you call it? Relationships? What What do you call it? <laughs> it's love. It's all about that love. That one. Okay, yes, that you. one. Agape love. Yeah, oh, love. Yes, love. yes, that was oh, the word. So sorry. Mm. My name is Memory. I'm from Namibia. I'm a medical student in Cuba. And we are going to be talking about love. Um, yes, you heard right. Love. And yeah, do give your comments below. We want to see your opinions as well. And I hope you enjoy it. Agape love. Yeah. Well, yeah. Agape love. Agape love. It's love. I think it's... So that, that that. What's that love? Agape love isn't about loving everybody like the God we love. Yes, the love Jesus Christ has shown to. Yeah, his preach, people. Preach I mean, man, preach oh. man. Yo, okay. <laughs> Every day you learn something new. Parental love is about parents loving your kids and yeah. your children. And yeah. But anyways, um, I love your bandana. You look good, guys. Anyways, okay, thank you. Yeah. Oh, what about me? Say something. <laughs> oh, yeah, I look good. good. You look pretty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you so much. And do you think that physical attraction is important in loving someone or looking out for a partner or, I mean, in loving someone? <laughs> Alright, personally. Like right. a bandana. Okay, I can't, I can't speak you for you. You come here without your bandana, you know that. But you wore it. I mean, I, I could have come here also naked, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You dare not come right. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 an apple. I'm just uh -huh. you know. Okay. So personally, right? I can't speak for everyone. Some people, some people don't look for physical attraction. Mm -hmm. But personally, I don't think I look for personal like physical attraction. Mm -hmm. That's what attracts me to the person. Mm -hmm. Understand? You don't look. For, you don't look. Happy. I, I wouldn't say I look for it. Mm -hmm. If you're not physical, if I'm not, if I'm not attracted to you physically, mm -hmm. I can't even, I won't even look at your face twice. Oh, wow. You understand? Oh. But she can be smart. She can be, I mean, getting to know her, she can be intelligent, but maybe outwardly. She the thing is, physical attraction is the first thing that will make me okay. want to even know if you are smart. That's your opinion, though. Yeah, yeah, that, that's, that's my, attractive. that's why I look mm -hmm. like. So if you are attractive, mm -hmm. Okay, that's that's what what will bring me close to you. Mm -hmm. Then I'll get to know other things about you. Mm -hmm. Then I'll see if you are worth it, okay. right? Mm -hmm. And you see, your physical attraction, you have a lot of things, right? You have a face, mm -hmm. pretty face. Mm -hmm. You have the body mm -hmm. and the skin, clarity, skin color, and everything, mm -hmm. right? Can For me, it's getting you know uncomfortable. Of course, yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, I'll, I'll let you talk. Let's for me, for me, the the the, the face mm -hmm. comes first. Oh. If you have a pretty, pretty face, hey. okay, then I'll look for other things. Okay. Then maybe the body. Mm -hmm. Right? The body, some some boys, some boys look out for the body first. Okay. Someone will see someone with a big ass and they won't even like nothing else matters. <laughs> yes, sir. You understand? <laughs> but me, me, I don't really I first first of all have a pretty face. Mm -hmm. Then have some holdable boots. Boot, some holdable boots. Boobs. Okay, that's your opinion. Okay. Okay. Some that's it. Yeah, okay, so what about Hello guys, my name is Kingsley. I'm a guest on Everything Belby. We are here to unveil the lies about love. You know, let you guys know the truth about love. Yeah. Mary, if I let you um, <laughs> we'll leave here. Yeah. No, definitely physical attraction should be you know, at least for me it is mm -hmm. a thing. Mm -hmm. I mean Yes, you can be smart, mm -hmm. you can be funny, you can, you know, be uh, ambitious and mm -hmm. 
you know have morals and all these things but mm-hmm. i'm not always going to you know say i wake up in the morning okay and i look at you <laughs> I, i'm not going to see smartness <laughs> I'm not going to see yes. how funny you are. I'm going to look at your face. And if I don't like what I'm waking up to, this is not going to work. Yeah. <laughs> no, but the thing about... I'm sorry um, I'm laughing too much, but it's funny. Like, anyways. No, for real. But the thing about physical attraction is it's, it's subjective. You know, it depends on every specific person mm-hmm. what i find attractive is not what he finds attractive mm-hmm. for example or what you find attractive yes. Yes. i can have maybe my partner you know and i think he's so beautiful i think he has beautiful eyes oh my god wow i think he's you know this mm-hmm. you know but you look at him and you're like i would never date a guy that looks like that yeah. you know somebody else would be like why yeah you know yeah. Mm-hmm. What about you, Clement? Okay, so I think they've said a lot. Uh, <laughs> so, for man looks mm-hmm. on the outward appearance. Mm-hmm. I'm a man, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, his eye. <laughs> so, that's it. So, oh, you know. You are, but God looks at the heart. Exactly. That's where I'm going. Okay. I'm not where I'm going. But, <laughs> no, uh, God. This, something, this is how I'm doing. It's the physical attraction that's mm-hmm. the rap he said mm-hmm. that strikes me mm-hmm. to even that you. Mm-hmm. It's a physical attraction that makes those butterflies that move in the tummy that mm-hmm. thing. You see the person and you don't yeah, know what to do with that. Right. So sure. <laughs> but as Rafi said, mm-hmm. it continues and says, but God looks at the heart. Mm-hmm. Not to say, and don't get me wrong, mm-hmm. that uh, I would not want to see my significant other. Mm-hmm too beautiful in that they would say a mermaid like for sure I would want her to be that beautiful yes. but like how do I put it a chair and an ass you know it's it's part of the whole thing yeah the but it's not the main and that's why yeah. that's my take on okay. it you get it all right it's it's it makes the cake attractive mm-hmm. it comes with the cake mm-hmm. but the cake is still there yeah mm-hmm. All right, that's really yeah. great. So, what what if, for example, memory? What if you let's assume that you're 25 years old mm-hmm. and your partner is 20 years old? You Why is care? It Does it really matter to you? Why is it 20? Do you think someone like of a lower age than mm-hmm. mine? I, I find it very hard. <laughs> yes. You want him older. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm. <laughs> I can I can go like a, a maximum of like maybe five years above my age. Okay. But you don't I know. you can be ten years older than me. Mm-hmm. Well, I maybe in the future you guys are going to see me and I'm married to a man who's twenty years older than me. But like, <laughs> it is what it is. It is, it is what it is. For now, <laughs> I can't see myself with somebody who's like ten years older than me. Okay. Um, I think it has to do with maturity, yes, mm-hmm. and the experiences we've had. Mm-hmm. Somebody who's 20 years, I can say everybody has their own life story, right? Mm-hmm. They've gone through things, but like generally speaking, I have gone through more things than he has because okay. I have more years on earth, obviously. Oh. And um, these experiences shape us, mm-hmm. they shape our mentalities, the way we think. And the way we feel the way we you know process everything and it might be that i have a certain way because of these experiences i know you know i'm i mean i'm a different way i'm a specific way and this person might not be at this stage yet mm-hmm. they might not be able to understand because yeah. you know of limited experiences and just mental capacity so you sometimes older guys to young guys yeah what about you Casey? what if she's older than you wait let me, let me talk about something right okay. you know women are naturally hyper guys right okay. they look for older like older people and men naturally we, we date we date below like we look for people who are because it's for us it's all about I'm grooming yeah yeah it's all about grooming. grooming yeah do you know what i'm saying that because it's like you feel like someone who is who is um who is who you are older than you are like it's teachable in a way like you can teach her your ways you can you know that's 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 how i see it okay. for men so out of but course are so are you so want sure. to mold yeah, someone so, listen you want them to I'm yeah you want mold. to specifically make yeah, them so to I your liking listen, listen do you yes. agree that wait, 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 wait. Do, you, do you agree that do you agree that 
I don't like in a relationship, right? People, two people in a relationship, like they don't have the same values. Do you agree? Exactly, of course. But I, mm-hmm. as a man, I would, I would like I would like to let you like have this like path of thinking. Mm-hmm. You understand? More like more you know, like why don't you just so look for somebody right. who already thinks that way instead of getting how somebody you know? who's how would you know how would you know you don't you don't see someone's way of thinking just by seeing the person you how do you know yeah. so this is what i think uh, when it comes to age difference you know i think it's excellency john as you can call for what the past president of ghana now okay. the past president of ghana mm-hmm. and once he was once president mm-hmm. i think the wife is older than him now, how I see this world evolving is that everything is doable. Mm-hmm. People have done it and it's worth. So mm-hmm. if I'm going into a relationship that I think that I want to be in a relationship with this person mm-hmm. at this certain age because I know that at that age this is what they like. This is what they are used to. Mm-hmm. So if I go in for somebody who is 10 years I mean, younger than me. Let's say I'm 30. I'm not 30, no. Let's say I'm 30. And then I go in for someone who's 20. I should know that at the age of 20, mm-hmm. as he rightly said, she's not that mature like you. Mm-hmm. So there are stuff she sees in different, different ways. Mm-hmm. So if I'm going in for that, I'm all informed that mm-hmm. now, nah, should she do that thing? It's because the same way, if I'm 30 and I go in for someone who is 40, yeah, no, I can't. Oh, no, I think it's personal, it's subjective. Yeah. So, yeah. Because people are. I mean, I mean, one thing is, I think the, the president of France now. Okay, the I one, that. Yes, yes the yeah, one he's dating, oh, no, no, he's married actually, he's married. Was his teacher one time ago. Wow. Like, basic school something. That's why. Right? Way yeah. older, like, I think it's more than 20 years. So, who is working? Who is working? It's subjective. It looks like it's working. Are working? Listen, I think those words. Listen, trust me. Every relationship where the woman mm-hmm. is older, the man is not happy. How? Do you it depends. Know? Listen, like, you can't say that. No, Kingsley, you cannot happens. say that. Listen, yeah. You know why? You know why? It depends. Because it depends. Listen, the older. fact that she's older than you are, right? She will find it difficult to respect you. What do you I, I mean? Think that's yes. Subjective. No. It's, not, it's not about being subjective. You know. I think that's subjective. It depends it's not about being subjective. The, it depends on the person. Unless the man you is know. rich and no. the one yes. has no work like that. Out of line. Yeah. Definitely listen, out of line. There is no way. Listen, no. trust me. Listen, me. I personally, personally, right? understand that. Personally, I'm 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 not I wouldn't say I'm old, right? But I'm more much I'm more mature than a lot of girls who are older than I am, right? Exactly. exactly. I'm just coming. I'm coming. Listen, I'm, so it's maybe about the maturity. I just look at what you guys are saying. I'm more mature than a lot of girls, right? But me dating them, they'll find it. They wouldn't say, oh, I'm more mature, so they'll respect me. No. They'll find it difficult. Maybe you are doing something. They'll be like, oh, I'm even older than you are. No, that's why you should know the person right? you are going you for. Huh? Like, that's why you should, you should know the person you are going in for. Listen, it's not I'm about you knowing the person. person. Ah. It's not about, listen. It's called being human. It's not about knowing a person. The person is a human. Oh, it, 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 no. you're, you're, not dating, you're not dating a god or a goddess. Okay, guys. So it's all about opinions here. So that's his opinion. That's her opinion. His opinion. Well, but my opinion is correct. Uh-uh. <laughs> Your opinion is is, is is I mean your opinion is your opinion. You see when you when you put a, a, a stove on on fire, eh? mm-hmm. that that black thing that, that, that your opinion is like that. Okay, guys, so I'll like see that. your opinions in the comment section below. So whatever you think, just type. Okay, if you believe that if you're a guy and you're younger, if you think you don't care dating someone who is older than you, okay, let us know. So now, what about long distance relationships? You agree to that in love or in in dating? Okay, for long distance, right? Let me let memory start. Okay. Long distance. Right. He is in Russia. It's a... and you are in Cuba. Yeah, you are both studying medicine. Seven years, almost seven years. Mm. Okay. Um, it works. It How works. Would it? How would you make it? Uh, it, it takes dedication you know both of you have to be dedicated you need to make it work you just don't expect it to work okay. you need to make 
time first of all i'm in cuba they're in russia mm -hmm. time differences mm -hmm. you have to plan okay it's this hour in russia it's this hour how are we gonna make how are we gonna make calls how are we gonna you know um try to spend time together mm -hmm. I, do we have money maybe to maybe see each other once in a year like or something flight, yeah or maybe vacation wow. i don't know you depending on depending on just you know um if you are going to be in a long distance relationship if you are putting in that much dedication is because you, you you're like looking at it long term right mm -hmm. because if it's just something that you're just like doing okay just oh, passing okay, something why would you waste your time on a long distance what? relationship what? if it's just a passing thing okay that's so nice. yeah no you really have to be dedicated both mm -hmm. of you have to make it work um mm -hmm. both sides have to be like agreeable and you guys mm -hmm. have to you know trust each other mm -hmm. because it's not easy exactly. being in a different country and you don't know what your partner is doing mm -hmm. and you don't know oh. if what they are telling you that they are doing is really what they are doing <laughs> and then there's that other person that knows them and they're like oh i saw him with a girl yesterday oh. they were walking walking where and then <laughs> And then you start okay, going what? crazy. Okay, what about you? Yeah. Okay, so I'll be open one more yeah, time because, as I said, I'm we are in a mm -hmm. an evolving world each yeah. day. So yes, I mean, if we're talking about it's being feasible, if it's being possible, yes, it is. Mm -hmm. You can make it work mm -hmm. doing all that she said. But I think this is the personal question, right? Mm -hmm. So to me, as a single fresh guy like me going in for go, going in for somebody go, going in for somebody i'm not going for i'll not use that time I, I, this, this is my reason <clears throat> so you wouldn't do a long distance no probably maybe after we have dated for quite a time you said you are fresh but are you are you single yes i'm single <laughs> so this is what i think this is what i think this is what i think Human human beings naturally I mean craving intimacy you know? So if there's this absence of the person mm -hmm. you've never met before. Mm -hmm. She said something about being serious. Mm -hmm. I mean you are just tempted to go in front of that person. If somebody comes closer, mm -hmm. you get to my my point is I mean mm -hmm. for the for the start, mm -hmm. I would want to see the person. Yeah. I would want to know the person. So and you're talking thing, about long you're talking thing. about long distance as in you met through the phone and then you guys start dating. Yeah. Well it works for some people. It can be, but I will not go in for that. But he wants to see the person face to face first. Exactly. And, and there's this other part of authenticity mm -hmm. behind the cameras mm -hmm. or behind the social media. You know? That we've seen people who are not it's like people we show. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Mom, oh, look how cute the baby is! Hey! <laughs> this is a bad thing. Mom! People think yeah. no. Of course! Yeah, <laughs> if you see the best thing on, the, on Instagram, on the like, reels, and they look too really, good to be human. They look too bad. perfect. Mm -hmm. You see them in person and you're like, hey, mm -hmm. this is not what I bought. This is not what I take. This is not what I ordered. This is what not what I ordered. This is pizza, no. This is for every video call. They go bank, bank, pizza, shiny. You know? Hey. So, for me, I would say, give up on long distance. Just period. But, but wait, oh, it's can work. Yes, they sir. do work, guys. Yes, Why are you so finish. negative? They work. It can work if both partners agree that in the time of they being apart, mm -hmm. they will find someone, right? To what? Be with them. That's called an open relationship. Yes. Or just that's the only way it can work. Really? Trust me. Listen, no. No. Maybe listen, listen. Either they don't agree, or they they live in delusion that, or oh, at least they are loyal. But they they find they find solace with another person. You know, so that maybe after after the time of being apart ends, they come back. You understand? So it's like they are they are taking a partner on loan. <laughs> <laughs> just for the time being, Bro. you know, maybe, Bro. maybe the, 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 because trust me, listen, I know, I, I know about like hundred relationships. I, I wouldn't say hundred. I'll say, I'll say, I'll, uh, okay, 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 I'm coming, I'm coming. I'll say, I know about, I'll say uh, maybe fifty percent of the people who came to Cuba 
were in relationships, mm -hmm. long distance, and hundred percent, all of them have failed. So what? What, what do you mean? <laughs> if if something has sure? a hundred percent, are you sure? Chance of failing. What, what do you mean? What, it's it's listen. Wow. The thing is, listen. Unless both of you agree that mm -hmm. not agree, not agree by words, you know, like you just put, like puts yeah. in your heart that oh okay she can do whatever. I can do whatever. Okay. If we come back, if we come back, then what? We come yeah, back. That's why for me, I would start with seeing you. If not, nah, knowing you for quite a time, as she was explaining. Even if you know the person, yeah. trust me, unless they, because listen, we are social, we are social animals. We need, we need of that interest. Course, we, but, need, we need that thing. But, you know, you, you, know you get me? You know, we need to be with the person. We need to be with, you need to be There's able to like, feel vulnerable. There's something called self-control, guys. What do you mean self-control? Self-control. Self-control for what? You know, if you know that you have an exam on Monday and you tell yourself this whole week I'm not going out, I'm going to study, and you do it because you know what you're working towards, it's the same thing as a relationship. Exactly, exactly, if exactly. you know I have somebody that we have made plans, we have agreements, and all these things, and they are going to come back after a certain years, a certain amount of years, and we are not supposed to do this, we are supposed to do this and do this for, so that it works, and you dedicate yourself to that, it's going to work. This is what I'm thinking. Thinking. No, that's what I know. I'm saying it's true. Listen, that's In that's what way. that's what on paper, right? It's on paper is theory but in the practical world that's not how it works the, the, the actually practice, that's how practice. it works in the practical world it I'm thinking, tell, me, tell me anyone tell me anyone I'm thinking, tell me anyone also about their opinion Come his on. opinion her opinion and his opinion so, listen Kingsley, do you do no, you even no relationship i've seen do you even no believe in love first of all what do you mean by what's your what's what's the definition just of love, love you loving someone yeah, everyone no 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 everyone has listen someone someone i know girls who's like definition of love is feeling better butterflies in their stomachs. You understand? Okay. Like, yeah, trust me. Please. I know girls who will say, oh. So you ask meet a girl, they meet a guy for the first day. Thinks love is right. No, exactly. does he believe in they love? They will meet does they will meet a guy for the first time, mm -hmm. not knowing the person. Mm -hmm. Few butterflies and say, okay, I love him. Love at first sight. Right. I think and guys will do that too. Guys do that. Too. <laughs> they are stupid. You yeah. know why I asked you know why I asked if it believes in love? Yeah. Because up until yes, now, <laughs> this guy yeah. has been negative. No, it's not. No, no, no. Yeah, I do Listen, that too. If, if as a man, if no, women have the women have the the, the luxury to to do that, feel that thing. But as a man, you're also feeling butterflies. Come on, butterflies. It's normal. What do you mean butterflies? Okay, it's a normal so feeling. What's but, what, 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 you are what? excited to see the person. How do I see someone for the first time? In a hot debate, I think we have to go on. So yes. Let's move on. Mm -mm. Move on from love. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about a toilet seat? Should it be up or down? The toilet seat. Down. This this is a question for this is a question it's for rich people. <laughs> I don't even know why. Is it should it be up or down? I'm saying this is a question for, for rich people. It's a question for rich people. People who haven't even owned a toilet, a toilet. Well, how would they even have an opinion? Kingsley, you live Whoa. in a house. You Whoa. have a toilet. <laughs> Yo, don't, don't assume everyone is rich. No, it's a question. No. Nah. It's not about this, being this rich. This question is open. Don't, don't no, assume do you mean? everyone is rich. What do you mean? No, you, you don't have to be rich to saying... get the toilet seat. Wait, I'm coming. Are, are you telling me they are aren't... Rich? Wait, I'm coming. Are you telling me they aren't water closets, which don't have seats? They are. In the residence, wow. there is... Pit latrines? What? In the villages? Is that what you're talking about? No, I'm saying, even in the residence, there are, there are what's the closest without seats. Yes, but, but, but apart from I that, think, I think we've been given a context that, that Kingsley, we are talking about a toilet that has a seat. That has a seat. Yes, I understand you, but I'm saying. Uh -uh. Right? Focus on this toilet seat with <laughs> I, a, I mean, this toilet with I'm a saying, seat. Focus on that one. Okay, uh, okay, okay. What about okay, me? Like I was saying, me. Okay, you don't I've, know, know, I've never so owned it. Uh -uh, I've never owned the seat. So I've never owned the toilet with a seat. So how would I even know? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Oh, no. Yes. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. What about you, Mary? Wait, let me calm down. <laughs> <laughs> um, should it be up or down? Yeah. I personally like my toilet seat down. Why? I don't even know why. I, I, I just find it... I just like it that way. Like if somebody uses my toilet mm -hmm. and then I go and then I find that the toilet seat is up, it just, I don't know. I you. Yes. And why please, should it be down? To be honest with you, educate me. I don't really know why it should be down. Okay. For me, 
uh, if you're like sharing a toilet maybe with like okay people of yeah. different genders like males and females mm-hmm. when guys use the toilet mm-hmm. sometimes they trip on the, okay. on the thing mm-hmm. so supposedly when a guy is using a toilet the seat is up mm-hmm. and then so if they spill anything then you put it down and then I can come and use the toilet without you know anything mm-hmm. on the so what's it, what if he uses it when it's down to store to, to store spray. i wouldn't know that but as long as it's down and it's clean and i find it clean because obviously if i find the toilet sit down and it's dirty then i would know that you didn't even look at it you didn't even take what time to clean it okay so this is what i think i, I think it should be down the toilet seat should be down are you sure you just trying to speak with <laughs> no 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 but i i really think it should be down okay. one because i don't find it pleasing as you are easier to see my toilet mm-hmm. sit down is it possible for a relationship to survive um, without physical intimacy? First of all, what is physical intimacy? Yes, I mean, okay, let that me just define it. Okay, <laughs> so like being in someone's personal space, like you know, holding hands, hugging, kissing, caressing, and sexual activity. So you mean sex? Simply put. Part of it. Simply put. Simply put. Okay. <laughs> is to it me, possible for it to survive without those or this stuff? To me, there's no relationship when there's no like when there's no sex. Before marriage, you hey, before marriage. Listen, hey. like as in dating relationship, I'm not like marriage relationship. Listen, what what makes a friendship different from a relationship? Sex. No. Really? Yes. No. I can do everything with my. Friend. I can do everything with my friend except for sex. I don't talk. Ah, uh, actually, there are people that have sex with their friends. Exactly, listen, and it's not a relationship. Listen, yes, so it, it's it's just the agreement they have. Listen, let me, let me say something. Right? Buy that. Listen, for a man, listen, for a man, for a man especially, right? After sex is where I know if my feelings for you are genuine, right? Because for you, that's not no, for men. For men. For, for you. Sometimes you don't know. You don't know yourself. He said that's, for you. You don't know yourself, that's why. Bro, listen, okay. listen, listen. Speak for if yourself. I see a girl, I mean, if I see a girl, right? And I'm attracted to her. If I see her, the first thing I'm thinking about is sex. I'm not thinking about, oh, I. How? Hold on, bro. How? Come on, bro. I think that's you a lost. bit. I think that's a bit off track. Yes. No, you are listen, lost. If I see a girl, before I move to her. No, it's not why you go for the, the body. You no, know the listen. Oh, before I see, yeah, listen. Yeah. Before I move to her, this car attraction. Really? Before I move to her, you think if I see her and she's going, I'm thinking. So you oh, just see her as a sex. I want. I want. I want to go cuddle with this girl. Oh. You think I want to hold hands with this girl? So Come you on. look at a girl and you just see her as a sex. Uh, thing sex what, what do you mean sex no like because you said when you see a girl do you think you, you, the first thing that comes to your head is sex no, I'm not seeing the so first you just thing. you I'm see saying. a girl and you, you just already right, start so what were you planning okay so beloved behold <laughs> you are hunter the oh, yes pleasant yeah. and our bed is green songs of solomon one take us to being here, let me talk. This, this is a sensitive topic. Okay. Being here represents sexual purity okay. before marriage. I thought it was white, but anyways. Save yourself from marriage. Listen, <laughs> relationships mm-hmm. should be built on friendship mm-hmm. without sex. I mean, I don't know what you got that from, but. <laughs> I mean, you can you can be friends with somebody without having sex. You can have a good, actually, good relationship. Don't base on sex. The fa- the fundament the fundamental is not sex. I think you know we are getting everything wrong about intimacy. Let's get things right. Intimacy is needed in every relationship. Mm-hmm. In every relationship, the pillars intimacy forms but forms by. Mm-hmm. But what is intimacy? Mm-hmm. Personally, I think. Intimacy is when, I mean, you, you, you find a safe haven in someone's presence. Mm-hmm. You see that person and you express yourself. You're, you are too authentic. I mean, stripped of every pretenses. And you don't fear any rejection because the person knows you. Intimacy is when I'm able to share with you every aspect of my life. Mm-hmm. My past, my traumas, the broken pieces. You can't do that with everybody. It should be certain people, it should be somebody specific. We should direct our intimacy towards that direction. So, there's this popular question, I mean, uh, before marriage, I mean, relationships, dating, courtship, you see the person you want to be with your entire life, and you're like, there's this question for the guys, I mean, you want to test it and see. 
Genesis chapter 1, verse 31. He says, After God has created everything, He saw it was that. Bro, who are you to test a bot? I mean, he just is that. Listen, it's not about nice. Nice. Doubt that. Listen, it's not about nice. You, you, you don't have to. It's just about it. sexual compatibility. Yeah. Do you believe in sexual com- compatibility? Bro, what's that? That is after what? you get married. And you, you get married. So if so if you, if you get married and you realize you're not you're not compatible sexually, Listen, well, a, a lot of stuff goes in in the counseling before you get married. In counseling, yes. so you have sex. Do you no, 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 no. What? I'm talking about when it comes to you being compatible. I mean, if it is necessary stuff, you need to know about sex, about you being compatible in, before you go into marriage. I'm coming. So she tells us a virgin, Steph. right? And you marry her and she's not a virgin. What are you gonna do? You can't. No, that's different from talking. Exactly. Yeah? That's different from That's control. totally. That's not. No, I'm saying I mean, that's a possibility. No, I'm saying if you don't if you don't have sex before okay, and you, and you realize she's yeah. like to you. Let's listen to memory. Yeah. What do you think, yeah. darling? What do you think? If 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 what physical intimacy is important for a relationship? To survive, okay. It is important, but it's not the absolute. Of course, no one says absolute. And definitely, I feel like a lot of people put so much attention on sexual intercourse, yes, especially. Sir. Yes, sir. But there are other ways that people can be physically intimate yeah. without having sex. And they make it look like it's impossible for a relationship to thrive without sexual contact. Yes, okay. Right. It can be said that for a certain amount of time. You can say, okay, um, you've been maybe together for 10 years and then mm-hmm. you get married and then you continue and then mm-hmm. you guys are not having sex and whatever. At some point, somebody's going to get there, right? Because okay. we are human beings. We have that inbuilt within us but like if you're to- if you guys have plans you say okay we are not doing anything until married mm-hmm. or we are not uh I'm, I'm not ready yet maybe the girl or the guy says i'm not ready yet for that it can work you guys can can, can be physically intimate in different ways without having sex work. and it does work it does i'm work. sexually attracted to someone and i'm living with a person and not having sex okay lies it's about opinions the L- shit lies so. come on we respect everybody's opinion so okay so should you be friends with your ex is it advisable to be friends with your ex I mean, mm-hmm. what, what, what kind of friends are we talking about mm. your ex should not be with you first yeah your ex is a human being Aww. as a christian i know even if you guys broke up some exes are animals <laughs> yeah really? listen listen mm. get exes are human beings mm-hmm. From my from, from my faith um, or my belief, even if the person did something, mm-hmm. that's forgiveness, right? Mm-hmm. So probably things did not work out between us. Mm-hmm. That's why you left me or I left you. Mm-hmm. So, so that's why I wanted to know which kind of friends. You should not be close as before. I mean, things did not work out too, but you should not frown when you see the okay. person. Yeah. yeah that's so are you think. I think it depends um, okay. on. On what kind of relationship you guys had and maybe the things you went through you know so many things because also how the relationship ended okay. like some relationships end in such ugly ways Not that like, uh, even if I see you in town <laughs> but I don't have a knife yeah. I'll stab you <laughs> no but <laughs> Really? No, but yeah, like but some th- some relationships end badly, and mm-hmm. obviously there's no way that you guys can, you know. Okay, really but like some end in very yeah. some some don't even end because you guys don't love each other anymore. Maybe just it's just not working don't anymore, you know? or you just both realize that you don't love each other anymore, and you're just better off as friends, and it works. Okay. So it depends on the. Yeah, but it's it's not like a specific thing that like you should be mm-hmm. friends, friends with your exes and you shouldn't be. Of Cases course. are different. What about you, Kinsley? For me, unless the friend is somewhere. Oh. No, you shouldn't even be friends. <laughs> Listen, yeah, because it depends on the definition of friends. If you think that relationship you have with your ex is still friendship, mm-hmm. you're not serious. Wow. Because Why? for me, for someone to be my friend, it, it takes more than just being acquaintances. Mm-hmm. You okay. understand? So for the relationship to be deeper than just acquaintances or just mates, to be friendship, you. like to, to be like to be friends, Kids. to be friends. Nah, you're not serious because listen, there is the Okafa law. Do you know the Okafa law? The Okafa law says. No, I don't know. The law. The Okafa law describes how two people who have 
had sexual intimacy for a specific time, like for for a, like an extended period of time, can relapse into having sex again, right? So just imagine you are friends with your your ex. Yeah, I mean that's that there's that possibility. Kind of, I mean, and we are, we are yeah. Only some because, cases. Listen, the person knows all your quirks. The person knows everything about you. Yeah. So the fact that you guys are alone in a room. Why, just, just, why do we have to be alone in a room? If, so you, so you have to be friends. So it means if you, listen, if you can't be in, in a room with your ex, then it means he's not your friend. But also you can be in a room with a person and you're not even you don't even your head doesn't even go to anything sexual. But I'm saying, would you, would you would you would you be alone in a room with your ex? Depends which ex. Depends which ex. And depends when. Yeah. Who is that? What do you mean by who is there? I'm saying, will you be alone? <laughs> Can you lodge a hotel alone? Why would I do that? Because maybe, maybe, maybe you went on an excursion and do it, do it. Bro, no. Exactly. So it means he can't. The person can't be your friend. Maybe that, he can't. That, that, that would depend on what you define friend. The person should be your ex. And what's what a friend? Friend. So, yeah, so. All right. So do you think love is enough to keep him or her from cheating? Listen. <laughs> It depends on everyone's definition of love. Okay. Right? For some people, it's the butterfly. It's the butterfly then, yeah? Nah, and, and it's silly. Ah. It's silly because some people say that, oh, love at first sight. Mm -hmm. But it's a lie because they know it's a lie. Mm -hmm. You can't love someone you don't know. Mm -hmm. Because you just saw the person and you just claim you love the person. Okay. Right? It's a lie, mm -hmm. first of all. Now, love is, to me, love is the conscious effort. Right, yeah, to choose the person, okay. listen, to choose the person every day in every season, mm -hmm. right? Yes, sir. To be committed to the person, yes, sir. To have sexual loyalty, right? To not go have sex with another person. Listen, that's 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 love in a relationship, right? So, if so, what do you mean by is love? Um, do you mean love on your side or love like showing love to the person? Both sides, I mean, if I love someone. I, would, I wouldn't want to you know cheat on the person mm -hmm. right sometimes things happen what things right no <laughs> what things things happen okay now she I, tell those things to happen what are the things happening listen if i'm okay let, let me tell you if i'm in a relationship with someone right in marriage or anything and the person is denying me sex what do you think i should do are you I, I'm talking about marriage or marriage what? or any relationship no what do you think what i should do anything? for me no, you like sex too much <laughs> No, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. chip and dating. What? It can be without sex. Mm -hmm. if, if marriage, I mean, in marriage, that one yes, you have a point. Mm -hmm. But if we're talking about dating, mm -hmm. we will accept. So you, what do you think? Is love enough to keep him happy? So, taking it from this perspective, mm -hmm. if I'm dating somebody, mm -hmm. if I'm courting mm -hmm. somebody, yes, I get to know that this is the person I love, and mind you. If I tell you I love you, there's a lot that went into that. Mm -hmm. I'm convicted mm -hmm. by my spirit. I'm convicted and I know that you are the one. No, not you. She. Why are you gay? Who says I'm gay? You are gay. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Bro, mm -hmm. let's get things straight. Mm -hmm. If she's the one that I love okay. and I'm convicted that she's the one. You are the one that he loves. She also should be convicted. <laughs> Because uh -huh. there should be that compatibility. Mm -hmm. And there's this part that nobody does. What's That's that? commitment. I am to commit to you mm -hmm. my entire mm -hmm. sexual organs. What? Yeah, sexual organs. <laughs> <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. Be careful. So for my entire life. And entire life means entire life. You get it. Mm -hmm. We get things wrong. Mm -hmm. He was talking about butterflies. Yeah. During during uh, the dating, during the court day. Uh, we are too blind okay. with a lot of moves that they show us signs. You see, if someone cheated on you and you say, you see, this is subjective. There are people who think they can deal with it. There are people who think they can't. Mm -hmm. And I am that type that I cannot. Mm -hmm. Don't go in because people think they can change people mm -hmm. when they marry. Mm -hmm. Bro, no. you are not the savior. Please bring the camera close. <laughs> Listen, the person savior is Jesus Christ. And you are not the one. You don't change somebody in a relationship. <laughs> nah, no, you don't change somebody. The person is who or she, who or he. Like I know, but from come. Back. What I say? You can't. You can't. Uh, no. Um, love is definitely not enough to keep him from cheating. Okay. Um, 
<laughs> the thing is, uh, sometimes you love someone, mm-hmm. but maybe the way you you are loving them is not the way they receive love. Mm-hmm. That's the way you give it, but mm-hmm. they don't feel loved by you because that's not mm-hmm. their love language, mm-hmm. and then they don't feel loved by you. Okay. Then they end up doing these things, including cheating, because they, are, they don't feel loved by you. Mm-hmm. But you, you are loving them. It's yeah. just there's no com- yeah. compatibility exactly. between mm-hmm. the she kinds of love that you guys are giving each other. The cheating is sex, right? Uh, no. You could be vibing with somebody else, like emotionally, that's still cheating. But, but let me ask you, do you think if you are in a relationship with someone, okay, a marriage or anything, and you're not enjoying the sex with the person, Right? And enjoying the sex. Okay, okay. Do you think you, you like you'd be forced to cheat on the person? First of all, I have to communicate. Mm. Exactly. Talk no, communicate to person. The person is just incapable of the person the person is just incapable. Really? Okay. Yes. How so? Because of, of, of giving you pleasure. Me. Yes. Yes, maybe maybe you it takes you 20 minutes. The person is only three minutes. What will you do? How did you get married to this person? By not having sex before marriage. Okay. What is he doing? He's beginning to believe. No, I would say just no, 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 no. <laughs> yes. I know where he's going. No, no you didn't, no. you didn't, you didn't. No, you said you were from my. No, now you married a person. No, and you realize that the person yeah. can't give yeah. you like give you such <laughs> satisfaction. Yeah. yeah. What would you do? Yeah. Maybe because listen, was. women, women try to say, oh, I don't really care about sex until they meet someone who doesn't satisfy them. I think it's then not about they, women. They want to fight for a divorce. Then divorce, guys. And there's no solution. It's not about women. Then Just leave. You imagine some. Is that divorce? Leave. So you leave. divorce, right? Uh, if you so me too. If, no, I, if I don't feel divorce, if I don't feel satisfied too, should I leave? Uh, uh, listen, if if you're married to somebody who's not satisfying you sexually and it's gonna affect your marriage yeah you start cheating that means you're gonna cheat forever yeah. from there on because yeah. it's not like they're gonna magically yeah. so it's something you're gonna you might as well just end the marriage okay well it's not good yeah but you see the thing is a lot of men don't enjoy sex with their wives ah oh. right let me let me that's see. Let their me, problem it's them they are the problem they are not sexually compatible he wants to go five minutes, but the woman just one minute inside. She says she's tired. I, bro, who told you oh. that? Wait, wait, I'm coming. I'm giving, I'm giving you real life, like, like your experience. <laughs> hey, you understand? So with someone like this, someone like this, or maybe someone who who wants to give you a timetable that oh we have sex once in a week, right? Most men don't want to divorce based off like sexual no. incompatibility. So the what? They would rather find a side chick. Side chicks save a lot of marriages. <laughs> Talu. But but yeah, but, but wives, 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 wives will be will be Hi. really fine then. Okay guys, so we have spoken a lot. You heard from Kinsley, you've heard from memory, you've heard from Nasa, yeah, Clement. So what about you? What is your opinion? I'd like to see your opinion in the comment section below. This is the Belvin's Shop Talks Love Edition. It's all about love, guys. And enjoy your day. Don't forget to share, to like, to subscribe. And if you want to see more of this show, please let us know in the comment section below. Thank you and we love you. Bye. Don't forget to send me flowers.